No one said being a teenager is supposed to be easy. Adolescent years can be a roller coaster ride filled with desires for freedom and a yearning for acceptance and support. Sometimes those desires to be free can lead to rebellious acts, harmful behaviors, and an assortment of mental, physical, and emotional issues. We recognize each of the students we serve has a story, a history. I am the wrong crowd. I make bad decisions, my judgment um, is kind of off. When I was at school, I got into a lot of problems fighting. Because I don't have to deal with all the drama that goes on at um, a regular school. I went out of control and they sent me away. I thought I was a badass, so I was like, oh, that's right, What's but it was stupid. When I say drama, I, I would think of it as like hanging out with the wrong students. Being a 15-year-old, you want to look cool and hang out with older kids. I was hanging out with friends that, you know, were the ones that were disruptive in class and getting in trouble and, you know, not doing the right thing. I have trouble determining my own emotions. We have these students in these circumstances that people recognize there's a concern, but they don't really have the ability or time to get to the underlining issue so that they can support them. The mission of the Alternative Learning Center is to provide a pathway for students struggling in a mainstream campus setting. What we know is that students come to the Alternative Learning Center because wherever they were before was not working for them. Before I just kind of felt like I was another student. I was just somebody wandering the halls. I kind of felt like a ghost, like I wasn't really anybody important. Regular school just wasn't enough and it wasn't applying and helping me was what I really needed. I didn't want to come here, but they transferred me here because of you know certain issues, but once I got here, I actually liked it. What separates the Alternative Learning Center from similar programs is the ability to provide social and emotional support outside the classroom. Sometimes when you hear people talk about the social-emotional, they devalue or de-emphasize the academic piece. We're holding both pieces in equal esteem. Instead of moving at a really fast pace, you can move at your own pace. And when you need help, you can ask for the help. And the teachers and the aides actually have more time to help you and sit with you and make sure you're getting it. We believe in kids. We believe that it doesn't matter. You made some mistakes, that might be why you're with me. You're having some issues, that might be why you're with me. It's really independent and you're very accountable for what you're doing. I think of school in a different way now, like I actually want to come to school, you know, want to do my work. I'm not failing anymore, so over in El Camino I was failing terribly. Individual and group counseling sessions play a huge role for ALC students and their families. Just knowing that they can talk to someone who will, one, provide good strategies or advice for them, but also give them an opportunity to say, hey, this is bothering me, and I know where I can go to talk to a person where it will be safe and remain confidential. It's nice to have somebody to talk to, you know, because sometimes you just have a bad day, and I know I have my bad days, so it's good to talk to somebody. You can say whatever you want to, and it's confidential, and you can get advice about it and coping skills. Even though that there are people that are against me, I know that there are people out there who want to help who are trying to help, who have my best interest in mind. The reasons students are brought into the ALC program are as varied and unique as the students themselves. I'm sleeping two hours a night, I can't focus. I'm at school, I feel very uncomfortable, I'm nervous, I'm looking over my shoulders, I got guys hitting me up every day and I got to fight in the bathroom and I'm fighting after school. That's not the right thing to do, just to make friends out of it and be cool. My friend dared me to throw a milk carton. My mom was kind of like ticked off that my brother had let me into his crowd, so I was a freshman hanging out with seniors. The second time, I was trying to steal a penny board, skateboard. And finally she, she just caved one day and was like, you're not living with me anymore until you get your life on track. The third time, I was throwing spitballs in my classroom. I'd probably still be doing drugs. I'd be with the wrong crowd. I would probably have to stay behind in high school. And then the fourth time, I, I squirt ketchup all over the lunch lady. For Xavier, one wrong choice for all the right reasons led to expulsion from his previous high school. I stood up for him and I faced the consequences of standing up for my friend, but it was worth it. That's an easy choice for me, I'd stand up for anybody. 
he's got all the tools to accomplish the things he wants to accomplish in life. In situations like, like with the bullies, I'll do the right thing, but if it's just hanging out, I get an idea, and it's either do or don't from that point, and most of the time it's do. Stop with the shortcuts, focus on doing it the right way, but he has to tell himself he's gotta be disciplined to do everything step by step. Born and raised in the heart of a local gang territory, Jackie now sees a light at the end of her tunnel. The perfect example of a student who is a pure product of her environment. I always thought, you know, I had to fight for everything just because, you know, I don't want people to just step on me. You know, you talk to Jackie, she was out in the neighborhood, she wasn't attending school, she wasn't passing classes. Once I come to school here, I don't have to worry about problems at home or in the neighborhood. She walks different. She dresses different. Education is powerful. And when kids feel like they can achieve and they can get there, she's one of them. It's, it's a beautiful thing to see. ALC uses a concept of child find, seeking out students for whom this special program is specifically tailored. It's a conscious effort that we're always going out to try and figure out if kids have stopped attending, why is that, and can we help? And we have several students in the program who we found just exactly that way. In that child find process, those students who were sitting at home, we brought them back into the district and into our program and we began to service them. How can we make school work for them, not them trying to fit into our mold? You know, get that luxury. We get that luxury here. Our focus is still academics. Our focus still is to give them the best education possible, whether they're going to attend a community college or a four-year school, that is still our goal. While some might wonder, does the ALC change lives or save lives, for all those involved, the answer is quite clear. Absolutely both. Definitely life-changing, definitely life-saving. A life-changer because it's really helped me change as a person and kind of get confidence. It changed my life, definitely. I mean, coming here changed the path that I was on. It changed my outlook on myself, um, and it saved me. If I never went here, I probably would have just went to MLK and kept on getting in trouble. But if I don't keep up, if I don't, if I get behind, like if I fail, I have the possibility of having to do something that I don't want to do. I'm happy with myself. I never used to really be, and I'm starting to feel good. It makes me feel great, you know, just to know that there are people like that out there who, again, have your best interest in mind and who will say, I'm here to help you. This is why I'm here, to help you. It's a lifesaver because I wasn't doing good at all. I had F's and D's, and now I have B's and C's and A's, so it's honestly changed me a lot. When you spend any time in the Alternative Learning Center at all, and you talk to the kids about their experience, um, there's never a doubt that we should, shouldn't be doing exactly what we're doing. It took me from the path that I was on to a much better place, and now I have more time to focus on myself. So when you ask yourself, are we changing kids' lives? We are, because they're going from bad situations to better situations. Without a doubt, we're not just changing kids' lives, we're also saving kids' lives.